morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Gloria if you're new here you guys have been requesting more and more fashion videos lately so here we go I have purchased a few new items after a whole summer of not buying anything I came back to Berlin and it's fall coming now and I wanted to find a few new pieces for my wardrobe so I thought why not just show you guys everything that I got, where I got it, how it is and also give you guys some ideas on how to style these items and before we get right into it I want to say thank you to Anna Luisa Jewelry to sponsor this video today. All of the jewelry I'm wearing today is from Anna Luisa. I will link their website down below. I also have a code for you guys if you are interested in getting new jewelry. They're releasing new creations every week. So you can check it out if you're interested. If you're not, let's get into the video. When I came back to Berlin, I went to a flea market and I got three items. The first item I got is this white blouse with open sleeves that I really like. It's very simple. I think it's linen. It's not written anything in it. I thrifted it at this flea market and I paid only two euros 50 for it, um, which is super cheap. And I think it's very pretty. It looks very natural and it would be perfect for summer also for a beach day. But I think like in the fall when it's not too cold yet and you can wear a little jacket over it. This is very nice. It has some beige details here and some ruffles, which I find very pretty. I really love that one. I wore it a lot already. And other thing that I got at the flea market is this pair of mom's jeans. They are high-waisted. They're original from the brand Paul and Bear. They're size 24 or 34 Europe. I had other pants from this brand before in size 36, which did fit me when I tried them on. And then the more I wore them, they got bigger and bigger. And so when I saw 34, I was like, okay, well, this looks like it's better because it's got, not gonna stretch out too much. They're still a little large on me, but on the waist and everything, they're very comfortable. I mean, they leave me enough room to play around with. And also when I wash them, they kind of shrink. So they're perfect. They're a little bit loose than other prints I have, but they're not like completely loose. And they're very comfy. And I thrifted them for four euros, I think. So that's a really good price for a pair of pants. These ones are really nice and I can wear them with anything. The last thing I got on the flea market is this black velvet bomber jacket. And I never had a bomber jacket before. I, I wasn't sure it was quite my style, but if you know me, you know that me and velvet were like engaged forever. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this fabric and how soft it is that everything I see that's velvet, I want to buy it. I even got a velvet swimsuit this summer, so that's how bad it gets. I love velvet, and when I saw this jacket, I was like, that's such a perfect jacket for fall because it's not long. I wanted a shorter one because I wear a lot of high-waisted pants, and it's kind of nice to have a shorter jacket with them. It's not cropped, but it's like, it's a good size, I feel. Um, and it's like cool, I can ride my bike with it. And I got it at the flea market for 11 euros, which I think is really good. I'm really happy with it and I've been wearing it like almost every day ever since I got it. So it was definitely worth it. That's the next thing I got recently. If you're from Germany, you probably know the chain called Humana. I got it there. It's very pretty, it has a very soft material. It feels like, almost like cashmere. I really love it, I find it very, very pretty with the little pearl details on the colors. I think it's very cute. I'm very happy with it, it's like original without being too original. Next thing I got is this black turtleneck. I love turtlenecks. If you know me in the winter, I wear these every day pretty much because it's so cold here in Berlin, there's a lot of wind, and I hate when my neck is cold. Um, I used to hate them. They used to like feel like somehow I couldn't breathe. And then I found this one, which has some actually really cool details, like the buttons on the sleeves, and also this, just like another texture on the actual turtleneck, and then also here on the sides. I feel like it looks, it makes it look a little bit more special and more like 
well finished i really like it it's very simple but i know i'm gonna use it a lot so it was a great investment i don't remember how much it was i think it was like five euros the next thing i got is this sweater that was originally from h&m this was donation so i didn't pay anything for it i really like it it's really cool i was looking for a very light gray sweater for the winter fall period so i got that one it's not too thick either i feel like it's perfect for fall and yeah i really like how it's cut here and the, the sleeves and i just know i don't know i just really like this sweater i think it looks really cool i got a few more items i got a pair of shoes i got pointed black boots which is the first time in my life i ever owned pointed shoes and i was very unsure about whether to get these or not i thrifted them at a thrift store secondhand vintage store that's like super close to my apartment i passed by a couple times already last week and i never went in i thought oh my god everything is going to be so expensive i didn't feel like i wanted to go i am more used to the thrift stores huge stuff everywhere and just like you have to dig deep into the stuff not the so curated thrift stores or vintage stores but oh my god i went there with my mom the other day and how to tell you this is my new favorite shop like by far and yes i only got one piece but everything there looked so nice brand new very cheap prices because most of the stuff was designer stuff very high quality stuff so if you want to wear second hand but you don't want it to look second hand and you want to have actually nice stuff that's going to last for a long time like a really cool pair of boots and you don't want to spend 200 years for it then that was the place to go because these cost 49 euros which obviously it's a lot more than all of this other stuff that i got at the flea market but these are these were worn like probably five times before and they probably cost 120 or 150 they're from the brand uh, bronx so it's a very good brand for shoes these are gonna last for a really long time i'm pretty sure they're a classic they look very elegant. I wanted a pair of shoes that I could wear with dresses as well because I have Dr. Martens and don't get me wrong, I love them. But they don't look very elegant or feminine. I wanted something a little bit more chic. These were my size. These were at the thrift store. And my mom was like, if you don't get them, Chloe, I'll get them myself. So anyways, they were gonna end up in my family. So I got them <laughs> and I haven't worn them I think to go out yet because it's been really warm this week but these are gonna be a staple this month. Another thing that I got, I don't know how to show you guys, it's, it's this jacket, yeah you can't see anything. This like pilot jacket, it has some fake fur, it's originally from H&M. I don't shop at H&M but when it's second hand and I like the stuff then I'll get it. So I like that jacket, I thought it would be a cool, I wanted a beige jacket for the fall because I only have black ones and I wanted something a little bit more colorful and something that, you know, was like kind of ended, like finished properly and that I could wear when going now with a cute dress or something like that or something that looks a little bit more put together than some of the other basic coats that I have. This one I also got at the shop Umana and um, if I see that I don't wear it a lot myself, it will just end up on my Depot shop. So far, I'm really happy with my purchase and I think it looks really cool. It's pretty much brand new. Like, I don't think that person that owned it before really wore it, so. Then, another thing I got is this t-shirt. How cute is this? Yes, it's a t-shirt and you're not gonna wear it by itself in fall unless you live in LA, which is not the case for me. I would wear it with my bottom jacket, which I did on my first day of school. I wear it with anything really just put a jacket on top of it and it's gonna be fine for fall i just love the be kind message this is from the self-care company it was gifted to me i will link everything down below if you guys are interested but i really love that shirt i think it's very cute and i got a lot of compliments about that shirt already so i'm definitely gonna be wearing that a lot it's so comfortable as well and yeah hopefully it won't get cold too soon so i can still get a little bit of views out of it. 
The last thing I want to show you guys is a pair of pants that I got at Urban Outfitters. So yes, this was not thrifted. You know, like 95% of my closet is thrifted items. These are high-waisted mom's jeans as well, but they are um, like a cream color, which is very cute and it has beige details. It's very simple, but the cut really fits well. And it's a really cool pair of pants for the fall or the summer or even the spring because they're thick, they're not cold. So like if it gets cold, I'm still gonna be warm in them. I really love these, how they fit. And that's one thing about thrift stores. It's really difficult for me to find pants that actually fit me. And I'd rather have less pair of pants, but some that I actually really love and that fit me really great that I can wear with anything than have, I don't know how many pair of pants that I paid five bucks for and that I never wear. So sometimes like the other pair of jeans that I find at the flea market, I wear them a lot and get a great use out of them. But it's not always easy and it does not always happen. So I got these, they were on sale. My mom was like, get them Chloe, they look really good on you. So you know, sometimes you just gotta listen to your mom I don't know, but I really love them and I know I'm gonna use them to fucking death. So, this was a more expensive purchase. I think they were $75, like the normal price, and they were on sale for $49, which I think is a decent price for a good pair of pants, which fit me like a glove, so yeah. Yeah, that's everything I got recently, as well as the jewelry I was wearing with all of these outfits and during this video. I'm wearing these jewelry pretty much every day. To be honest, I was a little bit scared about this big loops. So I usually don't wear big earrings like this ones, uh, but these are really light. They're, they actually hang very well and they are not painful. I don't feel them as soon as I have them on. I don't wear them to go on runs or stuff like that, but to hang around, to go for a walk, go to the store, all this stuff, I'm very comfortable in these. So that's it for today. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this is the kind of video that you guys asked for when asking me about fashion videos. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you do, please, please, please press the like button because you know, this really helps my channel get seen by more people. And I wanna keep spreading this message of shopping sustainably and thrift shopping and secondhand shopping because I really believe in this stuff and I think if more of us would be doing it there would be a lot less waste. So all the information to the jewelry I'm wearing and some of the other pieces that I mentioned in this video are going to be linked down below. Unfortunately I'm not able to link all of them because I didn't purchase them in stores and they're probably from previous collections and they're not available online anymore. The jewelry will be on there, the Be Kind t-shirt will be on there. So as much as I can, I will link the articles that I've bought down below. Until then, I really hope you guys are having a great day or a great night, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!